Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, Don here. Today I want to talk about isolated body theory. For this, I'm going to need to tape up my ball. For isolated body series, I'm going to start with my ball at chest level. So now we're ready to really begin isolated body rolling theory. Why did I tape my ball to the ceiling? Well, for one reason. If I want to isolate this ball, this ball has to be in one position, stay. And this way, the ball is always in one position while I start moving around it. What I want you to be thinking about is where does the momentum come from? How do I get underneath the ball? How do I keep it stable? What would happen if you moved your arms underneath and started isolating this ball? Could you do it straight on? Could you go across like a genie roll? You need to use momentum rolls over gravity because any gravity is going to change the height of the ball. Because you need to use momentum, you have to start considering what way you would move under the ball in order to isolate it. In order to isolate a chest roll, for example, consider spinning around the ball and bringing it back out. This is one of my favorite moves. Really, once you have this attached to your ceiling, you can kind of conceptualize more about what it would be like to isolate certain rolls. Certain rolls you're going to find more difficult to avoid gravity. For example, using a bridge roll as an isolation is quite difficult. Even if I can't specifically isolate my body rolls yet, if you practice this, what you will get is a really smooth technique and a lot more control over your body rolls. So I highly recommend you start dreaming about isolating your body rules. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.